Oh, boy. Did we wake up to some pretty insane Digimon news today. And no, I'm not talking about the mulligan switch thing. That's cool, but that's not even as remotely important as the other piece of news. Some people would say that the power creep in Digimon is getting out of control. Now, some games have a way to handle power creep by, you know, rotation, which I know a lot of people aren't a fan of. And rotation is one way of handling power creep, but it looks like Digimon has decided to take the Yu-Gi-Oh approach and introduce hand traps. You know, I've been sitting here for about three hours after I woke up thinking about how exactly I wanted to make this video because a lot of people in the community just off of Twitter, Facebook, even the YouTube content creators have made content about it already, they seem very pleased, which surprises me a little bit. I actually despise hand traps. I hate them for so many reasons. Coming from Yu-Gi-Oh, I definitely have some internal scarring of things like Max C and Nibiru and other really, really annoying hand traps. We're going to talk about how they work, how you can interact with them, uh, the pros and the cons, and then actually talk about the, the actual cards and what they do in the later half of this video. So let me know what you guys think about hand traps in Digimon. Do you like them or do you hate them? Please let me know. In addition to that, like it and subscribe and turn the notification on Smash Potatoes. That way you know when all these amazing Digimon videos go live. And in case you don't want hand traps, you should definitely join me on my Lorcana channel, Super Lorcana World, and there's a link in the description. Because as far as we know, that game doesn't have hand traps and I hope they never get them. All right, so how do they actually work? They all work where your opponent has to declare an attack, and then they get their one attacking triggers. Then you can evolve your hand trap on one of your Digimon, and then activate the ability, basically. And that's how they work. And then you can declare blocks and whatever, after one digit evolving and all that. So, basically, they are based on battle, which isn't actually a bad thing. It's actually kind of balanced so like all you have to do is if you don't want to deal with a hand trap either play removal and remove the card that could evolve into a hand trap on your opponent's side of the field or just play a deck that doesn't attack all that much and doesn't really care yo can you imagine if like mill out and security control that doesn't rely on attacking ended up doing really well when these cards come out because then they just draw all their brick hand traps and they can't activate them because you're not attacking them wouldn't wouldn't that be funny? So ultimately, these aren't really that bad. My gripe is that these are the the entry point hand traps, the teaser. I'm sure that B the BT14 will have some hand traps, and I'm sure that as the game continues to power creep, the hand traps will continue to power creep. And who knows what that will be like in the future? Who knows? But uh, that's that's my that's my issue really summed up there. Uh, if we ever get to a point in Digimon where we have like a Max C or a Nibiru or, you know, really other annoying hand traps, that could be very interesting and uh, very depressing. So I'll, I'll, I'll settle for these ones for now and they're not that bad and you can interact with them before some deck, before like you attack. To be fair, some decks will have no issues outing these and preventing these from even happening because some decks have like an archetype removal. Other decks do not have an archetype removal. So things like uh, Grandis, just off the top of my head, that don't have an archetype removal might suffer a little bit because of decks like this. And some of you might say, oh, well, Grandis, I don't want to talk about Grandis. It's just an example. There will be other examples you know, there are other examples will be fine. So that's my blurb on how the hand traps work and what you can kind of do to deal with the hand traps before they even happen. Um, and let's actually talk about the hand traps themselves and uh, see how they work. All right, so at the time of recording this video, there are currently six revealed, and these are from Starter Deck, the new Starter Decks, 15 and 16. We have here War Greymon Ace. And, and by the way, by the way, uh, War Greymon Ace, the Ace part... We got an official ruling that Ace is not considered as being as part of their name. So these guys are uh, War Greymon and Metal Gurumon. Can you imagine Metal Gurumon getting a new toy to play with in the Melga X decks? 
I'm sure people really like that. Anyway, going back to what these cards do. So War Greymon, Ace here, Digiwall for five with Greymon in the name. So it has to be a Metal Greymon. It's a tribal hand trap. Um, hand counter, okay, Blast Digivolution. You can Digivolve into this card without paying the cost. So what's interesting is that if you evolve on your opponent's turn, they're free, like most hand traps are. But if you actually want to like evolve into it or whatever on your turn, it, you got to pay the cost. So that's kind of interesting. Um, all turns, once per turn, when a, when a card is removed from the security stack, unsuspend this Digimon. Oh, and by the way, it's a blocker. So, like, if your opponent attacks with something weak and they have a Metal Greymon on the field, uh, well, you just evolve into this and block, because it's before blockers. Isn't that cool? And then this guy gets two attacks per turn, which is pretty cool. Now, let's talk about the Overflow effect. Overflow here reads, when this card is sent from battle area or under your cards to places other than battle area or under your cards, lose for memory. So what this basically means is if this card's removed from the field, uh, you lose for memory. If you evolve on top of this card and it like goes to the discard pile or whatever, you lose for memory. So they do introduce a drawback for that. I'm going to tell you right now, and I'm calling it right now, this drawback probably won't matter all that much. Will it squeak and win someone a game here and there? I think so. But I don't think it's going to really matter too much. I'm just being completely honest here. I don't think the drawback is worth it. But uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's War Greymon. Let's talk about Metal Gurumon here. Uh, so you get level 5 with Gurumon in his name. Which, by the way, I was talking about Melga X earlier because everyone loves Melga X. It's everyone's favorite deck. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter about colors. It does not matter about colors. It doesn't care about color. It really doesn't. Evolve it on a blue one. So there you go. Uh, when Digivolving, by trash the three cards in your hand, gain one memory for each card trashed. So basically, what, how this card works is your opponent declares an attack, and then if they have less than three memory, uh, this Metal, Metal, Greymon, Metal Gurumon can discard three cards, pass the turn over, get your attack through, and that's fine, but then that's it. And that's not even keeping in mind things you might have discard, like the Nidhogmon that gives you memory when you discard it, Underworld's Call when you discard a draw a card, all, all sorts of nonsense there. Uh, it also has one attacking ability once per turn. By trashing a card from your hand, delete one of your opponent's Digimon to the lowest level. That could be annoying. Definitely. After you pass over their turn, and maybe they attack with a single stack, and then you attack with this, trash a card, bolt their stack. That, that could be really, really aggravating for some people. Uh, and then you just X Antibody or like Melga X and it just blah, 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 you know, you know what I mean. So that's fine. Uh, and then Overflow 4. Okay. We have two, we have another two to talk about here, both from BT14. So Magna Andromon here, security controls are creaming their pants right now. They have a, went on play, on play for four on a level five. You see why I'm saying this overflow thing won't matter? The, the, the play costs are really cheap, but whatever. On play when, dig when digivolving, if you have five of your security cards, recover one. Then one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 1,000 for each card in your security stack for the turn. So, potentially a really annoying uh, bomb on the opponent's turn. If they attack with something weaker, they can, you know, get blown out of existence, basically. And that's, that's okay. And you heal a card. And who doesn't love healing? People with Digimon really like healing. Healing, I think, is Digimon the community's most favorite mechanic of all time. Let's talk about Lilymon here. BT14, it'll fit nicely into those Rosemon Bloom Lord BT13 decks. Uh, hand counter, Blast Digivolution. On play when Digivolving, suspend when you Digimon, then you may return when you suspend a one with 5,000 DP or less to the bottom of the deck. Um, I think this one so far is the weakest, but that has implications if the opponent's going wide, that's for sure. Also, these guys have Ace Overflow 3, so not, not as bad as 4. Then we go back to more BT14 ones, and we have Metal Greymon Ace, with the on play when they're evolving. By the way, on play for 4, it looks like. We delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 6 on DP or less. That's just uh, a little stronger than, you know, Magna Andromon or Lilymon, technically. But uh, Magna Andromon does give you healing, don't forget. Uh, and then Overflow 3. Zudomon here, uh, I'm playing with a Devolving, trash two Digivolution cards from under your opponent's Digimon, then return one of your opponent's Digimon with no Digivolution cards to the hand. Can you imagine if, like, some shenanigans ensued? That would be pretty insane, potentially. A lot of application there. Um, 
All in all, I believe that's it for the hand traps. They're just talking about the star deck reveals now over here. And I think that this one, th definitely this one, and the Magna Andromon are definitely the top three other ones revealed so far. But don't worry, I'm sure as BT14 cards get announced, there will be more. I'm, I'm certain. That'll do it for today's hand trap discussion video. Big news indeed. Uh, you guys, let me know what you think in the comments. You know my opinion. A lot of people are happy though. And you know what? If people are overall happy, then I'm happy too. I guess. I, I guess so. Anyway guys, see you later. Have a good day. Bye.